to Thai Oak. Here we have swordfish, shrimp paste, shrimp cake, stilt houses, goats, temples, beaches, elderly, children, fishes, tourist buses, and tourists. When you hear these wonderful things, can you imagine that Thai Oak was only a small traditional backward village? This was sparsely populated and not that prosperous with less commercial activities. Thai O is located at the northwestern part of Lantau Island. It's a famous fishing village which attracts hundreds of tourists every day. In the past, fishing and salt extraction were the two economic activities for local residents living in stilt houses on the water. Residents there live an idle life with freedom. However, as the society changes from time to time, Thai O now has become one of the must-go places for tourists taking a trip to Lantau. Tourism becomes the main source of income. Now, many banks, souvenir shops, and boat trip companies, etc., have flourished. Soft pens are even abandoned because they can no longer help the local residents to earn a better living. These traditional characteristics of Thai O are gone. How do these changes affect the lives of the local residents? What do the increase of commercial activities and tourism bring to them? Is it good or not? Let's hear what Mr. Wan and Mr. Lam said. 請問你支持大澳發展成一個旅遊區呢? 我想問你請問你支持大澳發展成一個旅遊區呢? 多些遊客來的,那個消費會高一點 It seems to us that businessmen there support the development of Thai O and agree that it brings no harm to their life but good income and living standard. We met Mr. So, a local resident who lives in Thai O and makes a living on selling CDs and traditional Chinese groceries. He's also a businessman but has other points. Yeah, 大興土木啊,應該都有一點 
，暫時未係一個藏到人嘅寶地啦。咁我就覺得適當咯，唔好話即係淪落到好似赤柱咁樣，即係穿流不息都係人啊。但係即係本土人就變咗一個即係動物俾人睇啊，之處去即係改變得太大。發展旅遊之餘咧，就最驚一啲比較商業性嘅元素咧，住宅喺呢個即係比較鄉村味嘅地區，譬如一啲品牌嘅嘢啦，令到呢個原有嘅一啲舊建築物即刻可能拆咗去起咗新啊，或者將一啲原本係好淳樸嘅位置咧，都變成一啲品牌，譬如啲哈根達斯啊、Starbucks 啊嗰啲進駐喺度，就冇咗啲即係。漁村你話去食茶果，本地本本土種嘅茶果，或者一啲誒賣鹹魚啊，或者一啲誒小販買賣嘅感覺，應該要保留啲即係原原本本呢個生活嘅元素喺度。Mr. So told us that there was a painter who rents this building as his studio in the past. Recently, he has been forced to move away because the owner of this building rented it to a large company, which could afford a higher rental to open a restaurant. We followed Mr. So's instruction and walked along the path for about 30 minutes. Nevertheless, we failed to see the painter because the place he lives at is much more far beyond our imagination. When we went back to the building, we saw an old local resident arguing with the construction workers of the new restaurant. And we heard the workers saying that Taiyo is a tourist spot, tourism rules. To conclude, although some businessmen thought that tourism can benefit them, but some local residents don't support the development of tourism. As Mr. So said, he hasn't gained much benefits from tourism. He thought that a suitable degree of development is needed but not losing the traditional characteristics. Taiyo is just a fishing village, but not a metropolis. Should we continue to develop Taiyo into a tourist spot or we should keep the characteristics of a local beautiful fishing village? How can we strike a balance between them? Think again.